welcome back to my channel and here I have this question to solve I found this question somewhere and I want to provide a solution to it if you are watching my video for the first time thank you please subscribe to this channel put on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video you may be notified and help me share my videos with your friends who are technical drawing students and it's very important that you practice this subject this is a practical subject you can see you are a technical drawing student and you are holding your hands doing nothing you can't get it so that's the matter of fact so all you need to do practice and when you practice you become a master at it okay now this question says that an ellipse has a major axis 120 and minor axis 80 uh, question a remark Gohan says that we are to determine by construction the positions of the two forces and state the distance between them that's question one uh, a remark go one I remember if you go to says that use the forcing method to construct the ellipse in full size. That is question A Roma if you go to. Question B Roma if you go one says that construct a tangent to the ellipse at a point 30 millimeters above the major axis and to the left of the minor axis. And question B Roma if you go to says that determine the distance of the tangent point from the two forces. Those are the questions that we have to answer here and what we need to do first as i'm going to show you here is to draw a horizontal line so we have a horizontal line like this and then we are going to draw a vertical line so we draw a vertical line so like this so this is a vertical line okay so now we take a measurement from this point so let me call this point um so this point that we have here, let me call it a uh, point O here. So this point, so let's call it point O. So the next thing I'm going to, to do from this point O here, I'm going to take a measurement of 60 millimeters to the uh, to the right to the left side. So and then 60 millimeters to the right side. Okay. So distance from here. So I will call this point point A, and I will call this point. I will call it point B. So distance AB is the major axis. Now, so for the minor axis, as we are told in the question that the minor axis is 80 millimeters. So from this point over oh here, I will take 40 millimeters down here, and I will take 40 millimeters up. Okay, so this point is point D. So why this point is point C? Okay, now, um, question... Uh, question A says that we should A Roma Figo one says that we should determine the uh, the point of or the force the two forces you have to determine their position on the major axis how do we do that what you need to do is to take half of the major axis which is OA or OB which is 60 millimeters so take that distance like this with your compass okay take that distance with your compass and put the pinpoint at point C here, then you make an arc on this side, and you also make an arc on this side. Okay, so looking at what we have here, so this is, this are the points of the forces. So this is the point of vocal point one, so I will call it F1, and this is vocal point two. Okay, so let's see the question for us to know what we are to do before we continue solving this problem okay as we have here that we have to determine by construction the position of the two forces and state the distance between them so we need to state the distance between them all i need to do now is to take the measurement between f1 and f2 so looking at what i have here so this is uh um about 79 millimeters but this is what i'm going to say so i just say that i have f1 f2 so f1 f3 is equal to this you have to state it is equal to uh 80 so 80 plus or minus one millimeter millimeter so i'll just leave it like that so that's the distance between the two forces as we are instructed to measure a distance or to stay distant between the two forces so having done this the next thing that we are going to do as we are instructed in the question, let's see it. So, uh, Roma, if you got one question, uh, Roma, if you got two, 
question it says that use the POSI method to construct the ellipse in full size so to construct the ellipse in full size so let's go and construct the ellipse what we need to do now is to uh, divide distance OF1 and OF2 into a number of equal parts okay so I will also draw a line uh, like this in this direction okay so now so I'm going to divide this distance into a number of equal parts just make like a four one two three and four okay so here also I will also make four so this is so I took 13 millimeters so one so this is one two and this is three and this is uh, four okay so I'll join the last point with uh, point O here okay so then here also I will also join the last point with point O as we have here like this okay so the next thing I'm going to do is to draw parallel line uh, to this line here okay so I'll do that while I pause the video all right so having uh, divided distance OF1 and OF2 into a number of equal parts that is 4 I'm going to number this as 1 so this is 2 so this is 3 so I will leave this one I don't really need it so this is 1 this is 2 and this is 3 so those three points are what I'm going to make use of I'll call it 1 prime 2 prime and 3 prime so now I will take my compass all right so then I put the pinpoint of my compass at A, extend to uh, one prime here on the right side here, one prime here. So I take this distance and lift it up. I put it at point F1 here, and I will draw an arc up and down here. Okay. So also I will put the same radius at F2 as center. So I draw an arc up and draw an arc down here. So the next is from A to 2 prime on the right side here. So I raise it up, put it at F1. So I make an arc here and I make an arc here. All right, then I will put it at F2. So make an arc here and I make an arc down here. So the last one is 3 prime. So I will extend to 3 prime. On the right side so I put at F1 and I'll draw an arc here on this side draw an arc down here then I'll put at F2 then draw an arc here then I'll draw an arc down here okay so those are the point that uh, those are the first part to uh, what you need to do for the next is putting the viewpoint on my compass at A extend to 1 on the left side so taking the distance and then I'll put the point at F1 here. So make an arc here, make an arc here to cut the first arc that we drew. So okay, then I'll put at point F2 here. So also make an arc to touch the first arc that we drew. So okay, the next is from A to 2 on this left side. Okay, so I put at F1 here. I make an arc here so make an arc on the second arc so do the same so from here so make an arc here and I make an arc here all right so the next is so from A to 3 from A to 3 okay then I put it at F1 here so I make an arc here so make an arc here Okay, so I'll put it at F2 here. So I'll make an arc here. And also I'll make an arc here. Alright, so all these points, we are going to join them together with the use French curve. So this point, so which I believe you know how to use. So I'm going to use my French curve to join this point together so that you can see how the ellipse will look while I pause the video. Alright, so this is uh, the ellipse, so which I believe you can produce the curve with the use of your French curve. So, um, so the next thing that we are going to do, we have answered question 1, uh, question A, Roma figure 
uh, Roman figure 2 as we ask to use the FOSI method to construct the uh, the ellipse full size as we are told there so I want to bring the question up again for us to know the next thing that we have to do I uh, think that we are uh, that that has to do with question B Roma figure uh, Roma figure 1 says that construct a tangent to the ellipse at a point 30 millimeters above the major axis and to the left of the minor axis so this is the major axis and this is the minor axis so above the major axis we are drawing it up here and on the left side of the minor axis we are drawing it around here so what we need to do is to locate point 30 millimeters on the on the on the curve so we need to take a measurement of 30 millimeters from here so this is 30 millimeters okay then i need to get the point on the curve itself so this is it so i will just draw a line like this so this is the point so the point is here so we just bring it out like this okay so this is where we have the point i will call it point p okay so this is point p so the point on the curve okay all right so now that we have located the point here so the next thing that we are going to do is to join this point together with f1 so we'll draw a line like this so we join together with f1 and we also join it together with f2 so join together with f2 don't forget that we are asked to construct uh, a tangent to this point on the uh, on the ellipse so what we need to do now is to bisect this angle here this angle so we have to bisect it so to do that we need to draw an arc like this okay so we draw an arc like this so then so we need to bisect we put the pinpoint of compass at this point here so we draw an arc here like this and then we put at this point here we draw an arc like this okay so the arc intersect at this point here so we're now going to draw a line from this point through the point on the curve so we we'll draw a line like this so i'm going to make this line and make it thick from here to here okay so this point i will call it so this is point q on the line so um i need to write that piece all right, so this line is a normal, so um, so this is point P, I'm writing it, okay? So this line that we have drawn from here, this line PQ is a normal. So we, now we need to draw the tangent, so I need to make use of my uh, my protractor. So I'll just set my protractor at this point on the curve and leave, um, so make sure this 90 degree line is on the line that we drew out here. So I just set it like this, and then, so make sure I can see the point. So I can see the point like this. Then I will draw a line like this. Okay. So this line is line R S, line R S, and this line R S is the tangent to the point on the on the curve on the ellipse so the next thing that we are going to do is to uh, i think we have another question that says that we have to determine the distance of the tangent point from the two foci distance of tangent point from the two foci so this is it so i need to take a measurement of distance pf1 so distance pf1 is 31 millimeters so i'll just write here so p so pf1 so is equal to 31 so millimeters so 31 millimeters and also pf2 so pf2 so if i take this distance from year to year so this is uh 90 or 89 sorry it is 89 millimeters so so pf2 so pf2 so is equal to 89 millimeters so if we add uh pf1 we add pf1 so plus pf2 so it will give us a b it 
to give us AB, which is the major axis. That is 31 plus 89. So that will give us what well, that will give us uh, 120. So and the length of the major axis AB is 120 millimeters. So just bear that in mind. So all that we have done here is very simple. All you need to do is to practice. When you practice, you become a master at it. This is a practical subject. So any student that is interested in technical drawing that cannot practice, that student is not uh, is not yet ready to learn this subject. This subject is simple, just a matter of practicing and you will become a master at it. Thank you and don't forget to practice. God bless you.